Now, in section 4.2, what we're going to be doing is learning how to simplify some fractions. Because oftentimes we'll get some fractions that are not in their simplest form. We need to know how to deal with that. Before we can start doing that, we're going to have to learn what a prime number is and how to do some prime factorization, because sometimes that's going to really help us in simplifying fractions. So let's go ahead and start 4.2. We're going to talk about how to simplify some fractions. As I was saying, we do have to talk about prime numbers first and what exactly it means to be a prime number. How many people have heard of what a prime number is? How people have never heard. Okay, that, that was either, either an or. So either you've heard of it or you haven't. How many people have heard of a prime number? How many have forgotten what a prime number is? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you, you at least recognize that we either have or haven't heard of it, that's, that's a good start. So a prime number, like, not like an optimus prime. Right, mm -hmm. just prime, prime number, transformers, anybody? Is the last one good, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Why is it Was it good? Yeah, it is good. Watch it. Mm -hmm. I even got a head shake with that joke. Oh my gosh, Mr. <laughs> really? <laughs> Optimus Prime, an Optimus Prime number? Prime number, here's what this means. A prime number, for the definition for you if, you, if you don't remember what this is, is a number which can only be divided evenly by the number one and itself. So nothing else would divide. We're going to get to that. One is not necessarily a prime number. We'll talk about prime numbers in just a bit, okay? So prime number, it's a number that's divisible, means divided evenly, by only one and the number itself. Number divisible by only one itself. Let me give you an example here. How about the number six? Uh -uh. One divides six, doesn't it? Two. Doesn't one divide six? Yeah. And six divides six, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. One goes into six six times. Six goes into six one time. Does Are anything else go into have, six? Two and three. three. Two and three. Okay, so that can't work for a prime number. A prime number, you have to go, one goes into six, six goes into six, but then nothing else goes into six. That would be a prime number. In our case, for six, it doesn't work because two and three both divide six. How about nine? Is nine a prime number? No. no. One divides nine, nine divides nine, what else divides nine? Three. three. Well, that's a problem, that's not a prime number. We need to find numbers where you go, one divides it, itself three. divides it, and nothing else. Give me a number five. like that. Seven. Five. Five. Eleven. five works like that. Five's great. One divides five, right? Yeah. Five, one divides everything. That's not even a question we need to ask, right? One goes into everything, but Five also goes into five. Is there anything else that divides five besides one and five? No. That is a prime number for sure. Now let's start, after I write down five, let's start a little bit smaller. Are there any prime numbers before Three. five? Three. Three. Yeah, four can't be one, right? Because two divides it. Three, three for sure. Three for sure, because one divides it, three divides it, nothing else divides it. One? One technically is not a prime number. Seven. One's not a prime number because, you want to know why, the number is itself. 
So there's not two different numbers to divide it. One, just for our definition, is not considered a prime number. So when you say one, one is always divisible by one. Uh, that also includes itself, so it's not the two conditions that are met. So you can't have one as a prime number. Is there anything less than three? No. Really? Zero? One or two. Negative. Not zero. Zero, you can't divide zero by zero. It's undefined. Two. What about two? What about two? Is two divisible by one? Is it divisible by itself? No. Does anything else go into two? No. Seven. Two, seven goes into two? <laughs> two is our very first prime number. Got to tell you, two is a very unique number. I want you to think of this. You guys ready? Explain why. You're right. Explain why. He said that two is the only even number that's prime. Why? It is the first even number, but 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, so on and so on. Are those prime numbers? No. They can be divided by 2. They can all be divided by 2, and that's why. So 2, it's even, right? Of course it can be divided by 2. Every even number can be. But 2 is 2. That is itself. So when you're saying 2 can be divided by 2, that is itself. That, by definition, is a prime number. So 2 is our very first prime number. Every other prime number you're going to get, I hope you're listening, every other prime number is going to be an odd number. No other even numbers will appear up here. 2 is the only one. 2, 3, 5. Okay, how about 6? No. How about 7? Yes. yes. How about 8? No. How about 9? No. 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 3 goes into 9. Uh-oh. How about 10? No. How about 11? Yes. yes. 12? No. 13? Yes. 14? No. I'm not going to ask any more evens because we all know the evens are not going to be up there. 15? No. 17? No. No. Think about 15 if you said yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Seven. Think about it more. <laughs> One goes into it. Five, 15 goes into it. What else goes into it? Five. Yeah, that's a word then. What else then? 17. 19. 19. 19. 21? 23. 23. 29. 25? No. 27? No. No. 3 and 9 for 27. 29, 29 yes. 31. 31, 31 yes. 33? No. No. What's 33? 11. 11. Good. 35? No. No. Actually, think about this. Do you have to ask any more that end in fives? No. no. What number divides everything to ends in five? Five. Well, that's a number anymore. So 35. How about 37? No. Yes, it is. 37, yeah. Let me where I want to go. 37, yeah. How about 39? No. No. What's in the 39? Three. 13. 13. Three. Very good. How about uh, 41? Yes. 41 is. And so is 43. Do these ever end? No. Can you find more and more prime numbers to keep going, going, going? But they become much less rare. In fact, uh, you can make a lot of money if you find the next prime number and prove that it's prime. Mm -hmm. They're in the hundreds and thousands of digits. They're huge numbers, ridiculous. In fact, you, have you ever used a computer before? Yeah. yeah. Oh, stupid question. <laughs> it is 2012. What year is it? 11. 2011. So I guess we all have. Maybe that's a better question. Have you ever sent your credit card number over the internet? Yes. What is it? I'm not telling you. Okay, good. So you all send, you buy, buy stuff on the internet, you, you send personal information, right? How do you know that no one else is reading it? No, don't. Yes, you do. There's yes, a guarantee. Do. There's a guarantee. Say that again. Life lock. Not the life lock. <laughs> you know life lock. Say it again, Victor. Encryption. encryption. You ever heard of encryption before? Yeah. Well, if you haven't, then you should not be playing on the internet with your information, okay? Because uh, someone is going to take your stuff and steal from you. Uh, when you see the HTTPS, and you see the little lock down there, it goes, you're safe, you're locked up, right? Because no one else will see your stuff. What's happening is they're sending your information over, uh, over the internet in encrypted form, which means that if you don't have the key, you cannot read it. So like if, I, if me and you were having a conversation, I said, I'm going to encrypt this, then Jeff over here would not know what we're talking about. He'd, look, he'd just see random code. It wouldn't make any sense to him. All of that stuff 
is based on mathematics. In fact, it's based on prime numbers and factorization. And if you know the numbers and the factorization, you can break the code. And if you don't know the numbers and the factorization, you cannot break the code at all. It would, well, you can, but it would take you like four months with a supercomputer working as fast as it could for four months straight to be able to break that code. And no one's going to spend that amount of time to steal your credit card number. That's just for average people and take that long. For government stuff, where they're using like high-end cryptography and, and, and encryption, it would take them years to crack those codes okay, with a supercomputer. Because what they're doing is they're trying to find out huge prime numbers and factor these, I'm talking thousands of digits long, uh, try to factor those numbers up. That's how encryption works. It's all based primarily on prime numbers. <clears throat> so these things are pretty important. And no, they never do end. They keep going forever and ever and ever and ever. By the way, have you ever heard of numbers that are not prime, like 6, 8, 10, no. 9? What, what's the name for those prime num those numbers that are not prime? You ever heard it? It starts with a C. Common factors? No, common factors, we're going to learn about that later. Composite. composite numbers. The numbers that are not prime are called composite. It means they're composed of a couple numbers being multiplied together. So numbers that are not prime are called composite numbers. Oftentimes, in this class at least, we're going to be able to simplify fractions pretty much just by looking at them and thinking about common factors. We'll, we'll get to that in just a little bit. However, if you have some pretty heavy duty fractions going on, you might need a better tool to do that. What, not, what I'm going to do right now is going to teach you a better tool on how to simplify some fractions. In order to do that, we need to learn something called prime factorization. Okay, so prime, we just talked about what it means to be prime. Factorization, what's the key word in factorization? Factor. What's a factor? Number. Oh, it's a number, yeah, but what's the number do? Number divided by... I'll bet you could tell me a factor if I put a number on the board. Right, Let's see. Here's my number. Can you tell me a factor? Oh, Six three. and five. Three's a number. Three and Six is a number. Five is a number. Great. Three. The numbers, 15 is a factor. For sure. That, that you the numbers that you multiply to get that number, or in other words, the numbers that divide evenly the number I give you. That's what a factor is. So when I say a factor, it's a number that divides another number evenly. Factor is a number that divides another number. Prime factorization is writing a number as a product of its primes. <clears throat> 